squared away all right so um, this is just sitting here because wanted to see what it looked like in there <clears throat> so kind of like I said before I'm not really going to go into the wiring very much because it's essentially you know, it's all factory wiring uh, I mean there's a few changes obviously I went through and I covered everything in this really nice um, it's really nice overbraid. Make it look kind of pretty. But essentially, it's all the same. All the same factory stuff, you know. Not not much is different from the, uh, uh, the factory configuration. This is just the uh, coolant bypass hose. Normally. Uh, Wow, I didn't clean that out at all. Yeah, normally this goes to the heater core, but there is no heater core, so it's just looped around. I thought about just welding the return shut on the water pump, but when the thermostats close, the pump will basically be running against, uh, you know, against nothing. It'll just be closed off and then trying to press up against a blockage until the thermostat opens. I don't think that's a good thing. So, just leave this uh, water bypass connected the way that it is. Kind of ghetto, but it works. have this, which I'm going to run up under here, because ultimately this whole harness will be down here, so that it's hidden. So this is the um, engine coolant temperature sensor. This is where the, uh, this is where the ECU gets its information from. body ground I need to connect somewhere. Originally it went here. That makes the whole harness kind of awkward so I may relocate it. Not far. Maybe this right there would be fine. Should probably get that transmission mount in so I know where everything needs to go. So wiring harness. Like I said it's just your basic wiring harness. Speed sensor. down there. This would normally go to the mass airflow or VAF or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is the GM pigtail I was talking about, the GM um, cold air. Yeah, the uh, air intake. Look, this is the plug for the air intake temperature sensor. So when you go speed density, you've got to run a separate sensor to measure the air intake temperature. So there's already one inside the mass airflow sensor. So basically what you do is you find the two pins that normally uh, go to the air temperature sensor for the VAF and you just plug in these couple little pins. I hope I remember where that went. I think that's right. So this plugs in there, and then this goes to the uh, the aftermarket temperature sensor. 
everything else, if I can remember where everything is, where everything goes. So that's for ignition. I think that's the idle air control valve. I think. A couple of grounds. Uh, well, maybe that's the idle air control valve and that's the uh, throttle positioning sensor. This plugs into the injector harness. This is the mass airflow, or this is the um, it's an oxygen sensor, which is no longer being used. And this is for the temp sensor for the, uh, this isn't the factory plug, obviously it broke off, but anyways, this is to power the fan. So, Basically what I'm going to do is plug this stuff in where it goes and then kind of find a place to tuck the rest of the harness so that that's out of the way. goes to the ignition coil and whatnot. Probably be zip tied down there. Mo 
mostly covered. I'll be over there. I'll be right there. This will all be over there. There, so I should cover all that up. Vacuum line, alternator, so this is the fuel pressure sending unit, oil pressure sending unit. Alternator, pretty simple. This is the, I guess I probably should have ran that already. Plug for the mass airflow sensor or the wideband. That needs to be routed around that way, probably. I guess I could route it this way. No. No. Fairly large cable. This goes directly from the battery to the uh, big terminal on the starter. The starter solenoid. We got these two. Actually, one of these is the oil pressure sending unit. We're not using that. Just doing this blind. Uh, obviously, just taking the. Uh, might be able to see down in there. Maybe not. Nut off there. And this goes onto the starter. I'm gonna get this nut started with one hand. Alright, well, oh, alright. Shit. Alright, up under the car I go. Oh, I was blinded myself. Fucking. Oh, what a pain in the ass that was. Alright, well, I think I'm done for tonight. Camera's only got two minutes left on it, so it's a good stopping point. <laughs>